So today we're gonna to go over how to do a reverse speed ramp. So using a shot that is just pushing in and then having it reverse back so you can transition into another shot. So to do this, we have our clip in After Effects. We drag it down. And then this is a clip we're gonna use, but I only want a specific amount of this. So I really only want from here. So I'm just gonna cut it down. Bring the start. You want there to let's say here, that's all I want. So now that I have my clip cut out to what I actually want, it's really easy to do. I want this to come in and then flick back out. So that is reverse speed wrap. It's coming in at normal speed and then reversing back out to flick back out. So to do this, you need to use time remapping. So right click your footage, go to time, enable time remapping. From here, we make sure it's at the start of our clip, set a keyframe, go to the end of your clip, set another keyframe. Now from here, you can decide how long you want your clip to go for, how long you want your speed ramp to go from the push in to the push back. So I want it to roughly go for two seconds. So you can have it two seconds, three seconds, you can have it as long as you want, but I want it for two seconds. So drag it to two seconds in your clip. And now it should have compressed down your clip to make it speed up because you're essentially making your clip go from five or six seconds. You're pushing it down to all just into two seconds. So it should be a lot faster than it was before. So now that we have our clip around two seconds, this is what we're going to work with. So highlight both keyframes, right click, keyframe velocity, press OK and now we want to go into graph editor so this is where we do our reverse speed ramping so click graph editor I'm just going to zoom in by pressing plus now this is essentially our clip that is the speed it's currently going at right now so it's going in an upwards motion which is showing that it's actually in normal speed and it's not in reverse it's just going up so to make it reverse, you need to break that upwards motion and bend it downwards. Now to do this, we're going to grab the end of our clip, hold shift, and drag it all the way down to the stellar. So roughly where your other keyframe is. So right now, there is no frames happening because we're in a forwards motion and the, the clip was moving. Now there's no motion. There's there's no clip moving at all. It's just on one frame. Nothing's happening. Now we need to grab these little anchor points on each side of these keyframes and drag them up into like half a circle shape. So just drag them up. Right. So essentially how to explain what these curves are doing is the steeper the curve, the faster the speed is of your clip. So it's essentially sped up and then as it starts to arc over and kind of go flatter, the clip is slowing down. So it goes from fast to slow. And then once it hits this middle position, it's essentially going down slope now. And then as it slopes past the point of 180 degrees, it goes into negative, which is reverse. So we essentially have our clip going normal, hits here, goes into negative and now it's in reverse so it's going slow in reverse and it speeds up more and more as the slope gets steeper and steeper so that is essentially how you do a reverse speed ramp if you notice your clip doesn't have as much footage as you as you wanted and you wanted actually more of your clip in the start and the end all you have to do is essentially put this current time indicator in the middle to indicate where how much footage you're using and just pull this up on both sides and create that rough circle shape again so the more you pull up the more footage you're going to use so now we're using a lot more footage so we'll just play that heaps more footage now if that was too much footage and I didn't want that much of my footage to be used 
we just bring these down. Supreme down, and there we go. And that's essentially how you do a reverse speed ramp. Now a little tip when doing this is get out of graph editor again. So once you're out of graph editor and you've got your clip that's going the way you want, adding an effect called force motion blur, CC force motion blur. So click that and drag it onto your clip. You should get a bit of motion blur in your clip, which looks a lot nicer, especially for doing your transitions. Having that little bit of motion blur blends the clips together a lot smoother. So definitely add force motion blur. So there you go, that's exactly how you do a reverse speed ramp. Hopefully this helped you out for your future edits. Um, if you like this, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.